Uh, now let's take a peek, Coomzy, at this series against Oakland. Off day Thursday, so you think they skip that bullpen day and bump up Chris Bassett? Yeah, you'd think, because um, what would be the bullpen day would be tomorrow, Thursday, which is the off day. So then Bassett would be pitching on normal rest. He'd have, you know, the, the the regular rotation thing, and then they could do Bassett, Barrios, Kikuchi, and then there's an off day again on Monday. And then you can kick off the San Francisco Giants series with Kevin Gosman going up against his former team, and then maybe you have to shoe, shoehorn the bullpen game in there somewhere else. But I think they can keep their bullpen pretty rested. They... Um, that would make sense to me. This is also Oakland, so it's not unreasonable to just have the bullpen day to kick things off. But I, I, I personally would be surprised if the Jays were like, "Yeah, let's start a series with a bullpen day." Doesn't 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 really seem like them. Yeah, and especially like I mean, we're at the end of June here. We're twenty some days away from the All Star break. Like I'm not super concerned at this time of year of being like, "Oh no, we want to give Chris Bassett extra days off here and there." He'll ha- he's not going to be an All Star. He'll have his All Star break to kind of rest up. So I think you can skip that bullpen day, go Bassett, Barrios, Kikuchi, and you have another off day Monday as well. So a good chance for you to keep guys rested still and not have to take the risk of a bullpen day and and potentially drop a game to a bad ball club. I was looking up and down the Oakland roster trying to figure out who the Blue Jays killer is going to be. And I looked at the players from the Matt Chapman trade and how everyone's doing. Gunnar Hogland, the, the prospect, the first round pick they traded, has a nine ERA this season in single A. Zach Loge, one of the pitchers, is now in the Detroit Tigers organization. Kevin Smith's on the injured list. He has a 546 OPS. Kirby Sneed's also on the injured list. He hasn't pitched this season, but put up a 584 ERA last season. But the one former Blue Jay that stands out on the Oakland A's roster, their leader in wins above replacement is Ryan Noda, who is one of the guys they traded to the L.A. Dodgers for Ross Stripling all the way back in 2021. He was, I think he was a Rule 5 pick of the A's, couldn't hang on with the Dodgers. So that's that's going to be the, J- the, the Blue Jays killer in this series. I will guarantee a Ryan Noda home run. Yeah, I mentioned uh, I made some good money taking the Oakland days in a bunch of my DFS lineups. Ryan Noda was that guy for me. He was on a tear <laughs> for a little bit. Um, so I do have a personal connection to him now. Uh, all right, Coombsy, there you go. Three games against Oakland. They will wrap up the series on Sunday with a little 1.30 Eastern start. So here's to hoping we got another good vibes pod coming out of this one on Monday. Enjoy the series. Best wishes.